Yo, with Office Roger from the Master Girl Podcast. We did it first. They did it worse. We got a new episode right now recording. It's happening right. with Che. Or is it Che Romani plus sign? Is it Che? Nah, yeah, it's Che. What uh, led to the name change? Uh, like, it just a little better. Like, I mean, mo, my fault. It looked better, <laughs> like, branding-wise, I think. Like, yeah. Yeah, type shit. How did you, like, come up with the original name? Is it, is your real name Che? Is it short for something? Where'd the plus sign come from? Uh, yeah, my, it, Che is definitely short for my real name. Yeah. Um, uh, I came up with the name, like, probably, like, maybe a couple months after I really started rapping. I did go by something else before, but, um, yeah, no, nah, I, I took the Romani part from inspiration of Tekka. Mm. And then the plus sign, I don't know what I was thinking. It's just some young nigga shit. Because yeah. how old are you now? 20? 19? Nah, bro, I'm 16. You're 16? Yeah. What? Where? Are you? Fuck. <laughs> I got my facts wrong on that one. That's insane that you're 16. Yeah. The next question was like, I read that you grew up playing basketball but you're still growing up. Yeah, yeah. You're definitely. 16 years old. So how old were you when you were playing basketball? But like, I don't know. I really like. I, I look. He got put on late. I was probably like 12 when I really found out that I fuck with it. 13, 14 when I started like playing for schools and shit. I look. He for the time being, I did look. He like I got somewhere quick with it. Okay, mm-hmm. so yeah. But I had let that shit go. You're uh, from outside of Atlanta. I'm not I'm actually. Born in Atlanta, I'm just like I moved out the city or some shit. Okay. Right. And where were you born? Um, Gwinnett, Gwinnett County. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I read online that you currently live in like kind of like a farmland area. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm by like cows and shit. It's crazy. I don't really see too many people. Because I feel like most people probably say Atlanta. But not a lot of people like in like the city, city of Atlanta. Right. And then people forget that Georgia is just like the South. Yeah, bro. It's like fucking fields and farms and shit down nah, there. Yeah, definitely, bro. Like, it really <laughs> low key, like, me moving out there, bro, it definitely reminded me where the fuck I'm at. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely down south on some shit. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. It does, like, your family, like, work in the farm business? Do they have a farm? Like, what do your parents do? Nah, where my mom, she still be on some, like, she don't really work on a farm. She be on, like, she be in the crib on some shit working. So, where she inside a lot. Shit like that, right? You know. Yeah. Uh, do you got any siblings? Yeah, I got, like, a little sister. She growing up and shit, like, it's crazy seeing her grow up. Like, I ain't really talked to her. Like, me and her really ain't have that strong connection but like as she's getting over i'm starting to fuck with her more like show her like what's up with like big brother shit like the show i'm supposed to be doing yeah because i feel like when they're super young it's like uh yeah right what am i supposed to do here but then when they get a little older it's like oh you're like an actual human being Nah, yeah definitely bro. that like we can share experiences and i can help you through shit yeah this is crazy bro um so back to the basketball you were in like AAU teams and shit, right? Uh, yeah, like a little um, fuck. What was it called? It wasn't really an AAU team. It was like a um, fuck, bro. It's been dumb long. Like, I really don't remember. But like, it was shit like that. I mean, like, it wasn't like no regular shit. Like, not no school team mm-hmm. or anything. But yeah, played for a little bit. This was around like when Corona started, I guess. So it right. really stopped everything. Yeah. Right. So, do you still hoop on the side? Like, is it something you like to do, or you just completely don't even? Bro, I haven't hooped in dumb long. Like, it's been a minute since I touched a basketball. Could you take any other rappers who say that they can hoop? Do you still have the confidence that you like, bro, I'm going to fucking post this fool up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I really like any nigga, any nigga that want to, like, See me on the court like it's anything. Like I really don't give a fuck. Like, like <laughs> smoking niggas though. Like, yeah. I would say uh, TC the Don, but he's like seven oh, yeah, feet my, tall. Yeah, yeah he's him. like seven feet tall. Yeah, like really tall, with the shits. It's just stupid, bro. <laughs> Nobody should be that tall, bro. It's like, bro. I mean, he's crushing it. But I'm like, damn, dude. Like, you could have fucking went somewhere nah, with yeah, the fucking hoop shit. Nice, bro. 
Uh, shout out to him on the freshman cover, yeah. all that. So, what kind of music in that era of your life prior to you making music? Were you into music at all? Were you following the rap scene? Um, yeah, I was definitely into music my whole life. Um, just being around like being around people that like always put me on. Like I was onto like Thug and Future, Lil Wayne, like Dumb Early. It's like I really fuck with like. I really fuck with that scene, like, and just being like being at the like experiencing that shit at that age, it really like I think it helped me now, like where I'm at and shit. Oh yeah, I mean like especially seeing people like from your area and like watching the come up, it's like oh I can do oh, yeah. it too. Nah, yeah, definitely, bro. So then the pandemic hits, everyone's locked inside their house. You stop playing basketball. Yeah, you're like. 13 or 14 at that point yeah i think i was like i think i was 13 i was just going on to 14 but yeah i guess that's when i like low-key found my love for like recording like i really mm-hmm. haven't really made no song before then and uh, you know just in the crib like you said trying shit like some new shit ain't nothing else to do i mean what inspired you like you're oh, listening to thug and stuff like that but were you like following underground rappers or something and like Seeing like, oh, I can like upload my music to SoundCloud or I can start an Instagram page. Like, yeah, like I ain't gonna say I was like too hip. Like, I caught on, I definitely caught on a little bit later than like regular niggas. Mm-hmm. But rather than like being a fan, I definitely noticed that like, yeah, you could do this shit. Like, why not on some right. shit? Like, ain't nothing stopping me. So I just fucked around and tried it. So, yeah. What else were you into at that time? Like, were you like, following twitch streamers were you into youtubers like was there anything else around when you were like i'm gonna start recording music no nah, i didn't really fuck with the twitch too much like they kind of be weird like <laughs> they be acting a little bit weird on there um i do think that they definitely do the most no nah, yeah definitely bro just for a couple of views it's crazy i but mean like, like granted you're young but i feel like they're like performing for like 12 year olds oh no yeah and like overreacting to everything and like it's so crazy i mention that all the time like that's really what that's the crowd they going for but yeah i thought well like i was on youtube of course i'm probably like in the i'm probably on the game most of the time Mm -hmm. when like shit like that was going on what were uh at that time like what (laughs) were you playing like definitely i was on cod 2k Mm -hmm. like niggas know fuck with a fortnite uh What else? Then I guess that's really my rotation. What's up with the Fortnite to rapper pipeline? Yeah, it feels bro. like every other rapper I talk to is like, oh, I was heavy on Fortnite. That's that shit, bro. Like, <laughs> I just can't explain it. It's just really, if you low, you know. Like, Is it like something about, I'm like about to get like armchair psychologist. Is it like Fortnite? It's like competitive. And you see people making money from it and it kind of opens up like that part of your brain and you're like, I want to be successful or am I just reading way too much into it? I don't know. Probably for like somebody else. Me, I just play that shit. I just be trying to have fun, you know. I just try to enjoy the moment on some shit. Like, it's a good game. Yeah. But but nah, somebody definitely feel that way. Yeah, for sure. What about minecraft because like i feel oh, like a yeah. lot of rappers were like heavy on minecraft now yeah everybody play minecraft like if you never play minecraft you a bot like, <laughs> minecraft that shit <laughs> but um not yet that shit definitely up there bro like i low-key be playing now some shit i just ain't mention it yeah i'll be on my switch too like on the nintendo switch uh, what are you playing on your switch i'll be on like pokemon I got a GTA on there. Like, Dude, Sam. Where? Sam. <laughs> it's like the, uh, is it like the one they released as the three pack or is yeah. like a modded ver- Yeah, dude, yeah, dude. That's so, bro. Yeah, that shit's crazy. I don't know how the fuck they got that at work, but like, fuck it. It's just copy. It's it. so fire. I'm still waiting on the new GTA, just like everyone else. Nah, yeah, bro. That shit not coming no time soon, nah. though. It's like, I would say another two or three years. Nah, yeah, but I, I feel like it's going to be worth it. Like, I seen some shit, like, it look fire. It's like supposed to be like, five times the size as the last one and the online is crazy Not yet. and there's like a bunch of side shit you can do like i saw there was like a leak that like 
you can just straight up like surf in the game that's crazy bro like whoever behind that shit, like <laughs> whoever's yeah. putting all that work in bro like they're fucking insane like they're like creating an entire new world so i get why it takes so long and they're also making so much money from online so there's no incentive to put out a new nah, game yeah we're bro shit but like that is like best to like just wait and uh, like it's dude. worth it bro fucking uh, a playstation 6 will probably be out by the time that oh, shit nah no cap bro. yeah you got a playstation uh i mainly play switch now nah, we're I uh heard. but i have a, a ps4 still because nah, like there's no game to entice me to get a ps5 like i get a new playstation for a new grand theft auto or like i don't know like yeah i'm on my ps4 still too but yeah. i've been wanting to get a p5 but like nothing not nah, saying like it really hasn't been no shit that really wanted me to like be like oh yeah i need this shit. and it's like the graphics for like madden or whatever it's like it's not that much crazier yeah we're and it was so hard to get for so long that i was kind of like fuck them no yeah definitely bro i'll probably say like the only shit that's like that got me like hooked is like spider-man oh yeah but i already played that shit so uh, it's like uh, yeah we're um I've been playing a lot of Zelda on Switch. Fuck yeah, bro. That shit's crazy. Like That's like crazy open world. Nah, hell yeah. That game be getting me pissed, though. Like <laughs> That shit's dumb hard. It's <laughs> so crazy. But like I, I fuck with it, though. I like fuck with the competitive shit. Yeah. Okay. Someone was saying that... Um, what's that game? Elden Ring is like... Oh, yeah, bro. That Zelda shit. on crack. Bro, I played it like for maybe like... I bought it and played it for the day and haven't touched it since, bro. Like I've never been genuinely mad at a game. Like... I don't know what the fuck they think bro. this is, bro. It's, like, like, super hard, right? Yes, bro. That shit, like, it's crazy hard. Like, you know Dark Souls? Like, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I guess it's, like, ba- like, somewhere in the same, like, genre as that or whatever, bro. But that shit right there is too fucking hard to play. Like, I can't do it, bro. Bro, because literally, I was telling someone that I'm playing Zelda, and like, oh, you gotta play this game. But... I have the hookup for someone who can, like, help you through the first five hours of the game. I'm like, help me through the first five hours. Bro, yeah. Like, like that's not fuck. enticing to me. Oh, yeah, right? Like, bro, that's not fun. I, like, bro, on that shit, bro, you, like, I guess you create your, like, bro, you create your character. And, like, as soon as you're done, bro, like, it's just straight dick, Ryan. Like, like, <laughs> bro, like it's crazy. Like, that shit's dumb hard, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, fuck that shit. Mm. Um, but anyway, so... You start recording music during the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, what was your setup like? Bro, I had a phone, had my phone, and some headphones, some Apple Jack headphones. Just played it in my shit. And Were you using my... like a garage band on your phone or band lab? Or... Yeah, I was on band lab. Uh. But and I was so crazy, like seeing people still use that shit. Bro, when I was using it, bro, I didn't know presets was a thing. Like yeah. I was rapping with no preset. Like, yeah. It was crazy to me. Like I wasn't like I like like I was going back to earlier what I said. I was not hip. Like right. had no idea what the fuck I was doing, but I still made that shit work somehow. So like, how did you learn? Were you on like YouTube, like looking up how to use shit or? Nah, bro. That shit's like really easy. Like if you just it's dumb easy, bro. Like I downloaded it and I just knew what the fuck I was on. Like it's nothing really. It's not like no real computer work or no shit. Like, it was for sure. Like I feel like it blew up like a year ago. Not and they were like artists that were blowing up from it and then people were like taking the template putting it on tiktok and pretending like they recorded on band lab but they didn't record on band lab because it was so viral yeah that's just like bro that's i love like the creative end on that shit like people are crazy bro yeah um i read online that one of the first songs you released to get some major attention was a yeet freestyle yeah bro that's really what started it for me um so when was that like a year and a half ago two years ago probably like two yeah like two years ago or some shit so that's like kind of before he was like super popping yeah nah yeah this was around the time for l drop okay yeah. yeah and then um i fucked with this once yeah i fucked with one song out there like heavy before like i really was too hip and i was like fuck it let me just remix this shit and I put it on TikTok, like, it was even, like, I put the song on there. I just, like, set my cam up, and I'm like, bruh, just listen to this shit. Play it through the speaker, and it went dumb. I don't know. Like, shit was crazy. And I think it low-key did, like, on SoundCloud, at least, low-key did better than the real song, like, at the time. Wow. Right. 
And then the story goes that the producer was super mad. No, nah, yeah, he was tight. Why? I don't get that at all. But I really couldn't tell you now, bro. I really couldn't, like... I mean, I kind of get it, I guess. Like, you working, like... Like, he ain't getting no bread off of it or anything. But it's hip-hop. Like, it's rap. Like, yeah, it really. comes from, like, a mixtape culture of artists rapping on other beats. I mean, I guess I get it, like... It's like a new generation and everyone's young and they're like, what the fuck? He has my beat and I worked hard on this. But it's not like it was like, had like 200 million streams or something. Nah, it's like, how much money could it have possibly made that he's mad yeah, yeah, about bro. it? Like, thinking about it, I don't even think I made no bread off of it. So it's yeah. like, yeah, he can't really like blame me off that shit, bro. Just being young and just doing young nigga yeah. shit, getting inspired. Yeah. Like, yeah so. So yeah, he's cool now, like okay, yeah, where everything's cool. With me. Did you like leave the song up, or were you like, oh, he's mad? I'm gonna. Yeah, I just I think he got took down. Oh, he definitely took that shit down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good though, bro. I didn't really want like. Yeah. I really didn't want that shit up anyways anymore. So. Right. So how long was it between that and Agenda? Damn, but Agenda probably came out like maybe. A- couple months like i want to say no more than five months after so like that so from like freestyling over being obviously you were also making your own music at the time but then agenda is like fully formed into like a specific sound how did you find your sound like you're so young you're learning how to record you're in your house like how'd you lock in on that sound uh, but I really, I really wouldn't even say I found my sound yet. I'm still like searching, like I'm still trying mm-hmm. to figure out what I want specifically. But with the time being, um, it's definitely just trying shit. Like you know, you got to like you got to get out that box, that comfort zone. So I was just fucking around, like met a couple people, like met a couple different producers and shit. Um, and as I like, I guess I could say I matured with my music. Me still being young, growing up and shit, finding like find more shit to talk about like experience and shit to talk right. about yeah. Or, so yeah bro like honestly i was just living bro that's really high like i guess you could say i found my shit like it just comes with like me being me right or, so do you remember recording that song damn yeah i do bro i was in my room and i was recording off the laptop i was recording off this boot like bootleg ass laptop bro like shit was Damn, they're crashing every second. So you've transitioned from your phone and band lab and the Apple headphones. Now you're in a laptop. Yeah. What software? Uh, this was the beginning of FL. Okay. So yeah, nah, that like, that shit was a completely big different step. Like I didn't know how to use that shit. That shit was way tougher than band lab. Like really had to put time into that shit, figuring out how to use it. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah, I started fucking with presets, like trying to find my sound. Shit like that. So, like, when you recorded that song, how many songs did you record, like, that month prior? Were you, like, recording a song every day and waiting for one to, like, really work, or? Not yet. I definitely was recording. I was definitely getting shit done every day. Like, maybe, like, three songs or some shit. I really had that work ethic. Wow. Like, at the start, yeah. I really had that shit locked in the bag. Like, but the difference is I didn't really show nobody them. Like, this is still in a vault. This is shit still in a vault. Mm-hmm. I don't got it no more. But yeah, I don't know. I made that song and I was like, bro, I, I already know this shit gonna go down. Like, felt like it had that potential in it. Just because I didn't hear nothing like it. Right. right. And how did you get the beat? Uh, I met this little nigga like on Discord. Me and him got cool. His name Brian. I start fucking with him on some shit and where we was learning shit from each other like musically and like shit about each other on some shit and then one day he just sent me that shit and I'm like bro this is completely different from the other shit he was making and like I think I look he started like a little sub genre with it mm. so yeah like fucked around got on the beat the same day and this shit went crazy like how long from when you recorded it to you releasing it like what was the gap there? Hmm. Wait, what, what was the question? Like, how long from you recording it to it it being on, like, Spotify and SoundCloud oh, and Apple? Oh, shit, bro. I ain't go cap, bro. I, like, put it on TikTok. 
And I saw this shit went dumb. So I'm like, bro, yeah, give it a week. Like, let these niggas, like, eat this shit up for a week and then we're dropping it. And then, yeah, this shit went dumb. Like, I can't even remember, like, how stupid it went. But I just know, like, it was definitely, like, that one. I look, he got put on the map for that. Like, they started putting me in conversation and shit. So, so yeah, to me about when it. you recorded it, you knew after hearing it for the first time that it was, like, something special. Yeah, bro, like. It's some sh- like like other artists can agree with me on this, bro. Like you make a one song, you mm-hmm. just know it's like, bro, they're gonna fuck with this. Like, especially when it when it comes to like making something niggas haven't heard, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like a great feeling. Like I can't really explain it, but shit's insane, bro. And so you put it on TikTok. It gets an immediate reaction. You release it a week later. It's just like boom, 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 instant, yeah. instant, instant. Yeah, bro. They start fucking with it crazy, like. And to this day, I still get, like, hella plays off of it, so. Yeah, it's at, like, 40 million on Spotify right now. I would imagine it's around that same number on, like, YouTube, Apple, and stuff. Nah, yeah, bro, like, that shit's still, like, bro, I don't talk about the song much, but, like, yeah. uh, of course, appreciate it, like. Well, I mean, I would imagine your life changed that week. Uh, I remember it coming up i feel like i reached out to will uh everyone was probably hitting you up being like dude i want to sign you bro i want to you you know whatever like xyz uh what was that process like of like everybody hitting you up bro i ain't a cap like i never really got that attention before so it was definitely over like bearing like and even with all that happening i didn't sign yeah at the moment I, i didn't i still didn't sign when it was fucking with it crazy i was just like really embracing all this shit, like, letting it happen, seeing how shit go. Like, I'm still new to this shit. So I'm just experiencing everything. Um, Just finding out how this music shit go, like, and I learned quick, like, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that I, like, did, like, went the way about it that I did. It really put me on on some shit. Yeah, it's like a trial by fire. It's like, okay, Hell yeah. it's all happening. I got to learn right now. Yeah. Did you, like, I mean, I got to imagine, like, you showed your mom and you were, like, yeah, like, mom. It's crazy. Record labels are hitting me up, and I have millions of plays. Like, what was her reaction? <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I really kept that shit to myself. I didn't tell anybody that I was doing that. Like, maybe aside from my friends. Mm-hmm. And my mom, like, bro, my mom told me. I, this is when I was like still going to public school. Like, my mom. I came home one day, and my mom. She was like, someone was um, someone was walking off the bus, and then. Like, they knew, they knew that that was my mom or some shit. They were like, yo, do you know your son got, like, a famous song on TikTok? Some more shit like that? Wow. She just had no idea. She not had, she, like, had not the slightest clue. She's like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, right. Not my son. Like, Yes, bro. Then she. Like, no, he plays basketball. (laughs) He plays video games. It's so crazy because, like, I think for her, like, she knows how I am, but I'm, like, quiet as fuck. I stay in the crib all the time. Um. I'm really just like a to myself ass nigga, like, mm-hmm. and like for her, she's like, mm, my son is like on some shit that I'd never expect him to do. Like, this is shit that you have to like go out and like show yourself for, right? Like, where it's, so like yeah. for her, it's probably way more than me, like of a feeling, like on some shit. Do you remember the first time playing the song for her, or did you like? Nah, bro, I was like too embarrassed. I told her she could listen to it yeah. like on her own time. Uh-huh. I was like, yeah, I was definitely not finna like show her that hurt myself. Like even now, I don't even like her like playing me, her music around me. Even though I don't she mean, I know she don't mean no bad. But, right. Yeah. But, I mean, you're still young and it's still awkward. I mean, I feel like even if you're older, your art is such a specific thing to you, and like seeing someone react to it in front of you is like, oh. Yeah, we're like even like even with like niggas that I don't know that listen to me, like, it takes, like, a certain, like, it takes, it takes, like, some shit out of me, like, to give it to, like, niggas to listen yeah. to, like, yeah, so. Yeah. yeah, like, someone watching this podcast in front of me and me hearing my own voice, I'd be like, oh, fuck, I need to go <laughs> in another room, like, yeah, I bro. can't, I can't. Yeah, it's definitely, like, a different feeling aside from, like, just listening to yourself. Mm-hmm. So how did uh you meet your manager? Um, he came around the time when like I had a song called Hundred Out. Mm-hmm. 
he started fucking with me like heavy off that like and then boom he hit me on instagram he's like bro you got a manager i'm like nah like i really didn't know shit like yeah. nah i did not have no manager so then he was like fuck it like fuck with me on some shit i'm like bet and then, like i'm bro like i'm glad he like hit me bro because like he, he teaching me hella shit like shit i don't even think an artist could tell you like, mm-hmm. yeah. so yeah but that shit was like definitely a blessing so why did you choose to not sign uh bro i couldn't really give you like a straightforward answer i feel like honestly like i'm looking at this shit I'm looking, like, at deals and shit like that. Like, obviously, there were somewhat good deals. But I'm, like, I want to see if these niggas are going to be here. Like, mm-hmm. like I like for the like moment just now, I, I, I only got one real big song right. out. So I'm, like, bro, I want to see if these niggas going to be here when I spin back on some crazier shit. Mm-hmm. And then, boom, yeah, it's slick happened. So, yeah, like, in, in the long run, what I was going for, it worked. So, yeah. Hell, yeah. So you're still self releasing your music uh, or is it like a distribution company no nah, i'm yeah i'm with a distribution i'm in a distribution deal right now oh, okay yeah um so post agenda uh you said you switched schools uh yeah i started going to like this little private school thing like doing online and going in okay where yeah, it was low-key a, like a change it was like definitely got me recording more i could say yeah yeah um that shit really was like hella different for me like i'm in the crib even more than i really was i found out about some more shit like i ain't gonna cap start getting into like i guess like being bad and shit like that like i started doing shit that i'm like like not supposed to be doing more shit but um yeah like look character development arc on some shit (laughs) definitely when you switched schools, you started to like it pee on some other shit, or it was prior to that? No, nah, definitely after. Yeah. yeah, I'm like on some. I'm like, bro, I'm bored. Like, like fuck around, find out on some shit. Yeah. Like, find some shit out. Like, why not? You know. So I was doing hella shit. Like, just started being out more, shit like that. Have you made like? Are there other rappers in the scene now that are around the same age as you that like you're friends with? Like, do you have like a crew of artists that you like associate with, and or are you still just like super solo? Nah, I mean, like, I guess I guess like, bro, I have more of a connection with my producers rather than my okay. Like, yeah, like I'm gonna cap like slick, low key slick scene like the niggas that I was rapping with, like, that I guess you could say I was cool with. Like, you know, niggas going down their own path, shit like that. I'm not even, not even stressing about it. Like, I know how shit goes, so, like... Right. Where? I mean, I gotta imagine, too, it's hard to be super close with artists that are, like, around your same level, the same age, because they might have a viral song and switch up for a second, and then they're not viral anymore. And it's like, everyone's still, like finding themselves hell yeah bro it's like and i'm already knowing shit like this like this is nothing new to me i'm like everybody got their own path so Mm -hmm. you can't really stress it it's like it's life yeah so yeah um you don't have the blue hair anymore yeah where what happened to it fucking uh i'm on some new shit like (laughs) it was cool for the moment like i kind of fucked with it like but then i ain't gonna cap what really did it for me was like you know, the roots start growing back in. Yeah. Like, you see black. I'm yeah. like, yeah, fuck that. And I was not finna dye my shit back blue, so. It's like a lot of upkeep. Yeah, bro. That shit is hella work, and I'm not finna fucking stress over my hair, bro. Like, uh. yeah. What are, like, your personal style influences? You're wearing a crazy... What is that like? I don't even know what that hoodie is. Oh, bro, this is, like, some shit. Like, I just got it, bro. Like, I don't know the brand name, Michael Cap, but inspiration wise like definitely like i think everybody can say this like chief keith definitely got like mm-hmm. a big play in like nigga how niggas dress like if you telling me chief keith is not like one of the swaggiest mm-hmm. rap niggas like you're tweaking but as of recently i like i look he wanted to tap back into like how like atlanta niggas dress like mm-hmm. thug keyed and shit yeah. 
like skinny jeans and ball mains. Right. Where so I'm starting to fuck with that shit again. Like where What's up with the shirt? Why does everyone love the Deftones now? Bro, I ain't gonna cap. Like I'm a bandwagon, bro. I ain't gonna cap like <laughs> And then I saw this shirt. I'm like, bro, it's fire as fuck. I got a, like it got a cat on it and shit. I got hella cats. So, do you like actually listen to their music, or you just know the ones that get sampled all the time? Yeah, I just know the song. Like, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna be. They were even before my time. I'm way older than you, and they were like a little <laughs> bit before me. So I know yeah, the ones that get sampled, and I know the ones that go viral. Yeah, bro, I'm a cat. I just know the sample songs and shit. I'm not too hip, like. <laughs> But fuck it, like if niggas fuck with it, I'll fuck with it. Like I'm on whatever they on. I feel like people might flame me or everyone's so young they don't give a shit. But like I feel like the Deftones were definitely they were huge, but I feel like they were way bigger in California. Mm-hmm. Like I'm from New York originally. I never like I was into bands. I never heard of them until like That's fine. recently. But then I say it, and like everyone's like, "Oh no, dude, they were huge," and like them and Limp Bizkit or some shit, or them and a Lincoln Park or whatever. I'm like, I don't fucking know, dude. Yeah, I got no idea, bro. I got not the slightest clue. <laughs> got, you know what I'm I got, guess they might, they might have been popping out here. I got, I really got no idea. Yeah. What you just moved out here? Uh, no, like eight years ago. Where, where I'm old, you? dude. <laughs> I'm fucking old. Bro, don't say that, bro. You cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you. No, yeah, like I've been out here for eight years. Uh. I'm from Long Beach, New York, which is like where Lil Peep is from and Rick Rubin and like that vibe. It's like a surf town. Right. So when I moved out here, everyone already thought I was from LA because like I talk slower and I have long hair and like I'm like a surfer vibe. Nah, I'm, nah, definitely, bro. I thought you were from here before. Yeah, you told dude, me. everyone. Yeah. But yeah. you fit in, bro. Like, yeah. Dude, I love LA now. I'm never leaving. No, nah, yeah, this shit is definitely fun to visit. Like, I don't yeah. know. Like, me personally, I don't know about living here. This shit's crazy. Like, you just gotta find the right. There's so many neighborhoods. Awesome shit. There's like chill, dude. Where I live, I live my. I'm like 15 minutes from Hollywood, mm-hmm. and my neighbors have fucking horses in their yard. Like, nah, that's crazy. Bro. So it's like there's so many like separate areas and nooks and neighborhoods and vibes, and there's like Hollywood's nuts and. Nah, yeah, kind of gross and yeah, downtown is fuck, crazy man, like, but like there's cool areas like you know no nah, yeah la big as fuck bro yeah. like yeah. and then there's the whole beach side and then there's the mountains right there and then you can go down to san diego and you nah, can go to mexico is. yeah bro my man just talked about some hiking shit i'm like bro i'm not down <laughs> that. but now nah, yeah, like shit you know doing y'all different y'all definitely different bro. like bro how am i supposed to hike in this fur hoodie i'm wearing yeah like what the fuck what the fuck yeah bro? this is not i didn't come prepared for that <laughs> where you weren't ready mm-hmm. um you just released a brand new project like a month ago yeah how long were you working on that bro that shit was in the works for about like four or five months prior because mm-hmm. like like i guess like my fans or my fan base know that like a nigga went on a little hiatus. Yeah. Like, you know, going back to, like, trying to find my sound. um, Trying to figure out what the fuck I wanted to sound like. And, uh, yeah, that shit definitely helped me, bro. Like, definitely, like I was saying earlier, I matured. My sound matured with me. This shit is, like, it's all coming together. And I definitely think I executed on, like, being on some different shit with this tape. So. What do you want in the future what is in your ideal world what are the next five years looking like for you you'll be 21 or 22 at that point where, where do you see yourself i see myself like rolling loud like overseas on some shit like i'm just ready for like anything that's gonna come at me like on some shit i'm just trying to have fun with it too at the same time but i just want people to know my face and just know that like with the music with me being me like but this shit is just for fun and like i'm trying to make people feel good like mm-hmm. i'm trying to make sure people are having fun listening to me that's all that that's all i want to get off like as a message i guess or, what advice would you have you're a young artist but what advice would you have for other young artists who maybe they either haven't recorded their first song yet or they've recorded a hundred songs What's like some solid advice for someone trying to be where you're at right now? Bro, like, 
obviously be yourself like niggas can't stress that enough like everybody say that but it's true like it's so real be yourself fucking like nigga just don't give up and then like bro realize you could do anything like as long as that shit realistic like obviously you can't fly or some shit like that but bro like no nigga telling you anything bro like you could really do anything you want to fucking do bro like it's no stopping to this shit like that ass boom facts yeah, yeah. Che, thank you so much for coming on the pod. I'm for super sure, excited for what you got coming up, dude. And we're going to play a one-on-one right after this podcast. Oh, word. <laughs> Man, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. All right, bro. Yeah.